I'm eating very few calories and I'm not losing weight. So in theory, if, the, if these medications are causing you to eat less, what does that mean? You were, what, what were you doing before? You already were eating less. So I'm thinking that a, a, a more likely explanation is that the, this menopause transition is causing insulin insensitivity. And we have data to, to, to suggest that. Uh, blood fasting glucose levels are higher. In some cases, fasting insulin is higher. So I think if in these women that it's helping, it's probably improving their insulin sensitivity and that is what's helping them lose body fat. So Bill, let's talk about women who claim to be weight loss resistant, but then go on a GLP-1 and lose weight, why? Now, I happen to believe that a subset of women going through menopause do have true legitimate weight loss resistance. I've worked with them. <laughs> yes, yes. And it's funny, just on that note, um, in, in the fitness community space, a lot of fitness professionals don't acknowledge it and they'll mm -hmm. say it doesn't exist. But the people who actually work with the population, they would say, the only people who say it doesn't happen are the people who have never worked with this population. Agreed. So I have been getting... It's more than a few direct communications from women, and in some cases, the husbands of women, who have said that the, the GLP-1, so semaglutide, terzepatide, have made a big difference in their ability to, to lose weight. Mm -hmm. So, and again, it's more than a few, and, and I'm, I like that. Uh, I, I think that, again, the goal here is to eliminate excess body fat, if these medications can give us that outcome without side effects or with minimal side effects, I think that's a win. So the, the way that these medications work is through two ways. They improve insulin sensitivity. So that's why they were originally designed for diabetics. Mm -hmm. di di diabetics have insulin insensitivity. So that helps with insulin s sensitivity issues but their weight loss effects really aren't that powerful through improving insulin sensitivity, but it's more on their activity on the brain, which drastically suppresses appetite suppression. So if it's the fact that these weight loss drugs are suppressing their appetite so that the women are eating less, that's puzzling to me because I'm under the impression they already have been eating less because the claim is I'm eating very few calories and I'm not losing weight. So in theory, if, the, if these medications are causing you to eat less, the, what does that mean? You were, what, was, what were you doing before? You already were eating less. So I'm thinking that a, a, a more likely explanation is that the, this menopause transition is causing insulin insensitivity. And we have data to, to, to suggest that. Uh, blood fasting glucose levels are higher. In some cases, fasting insulin is higher. So I think if in these women that it's helping, it's probably improving their insulin sensitivity, and that is what's helping them lose body fat. Do you think that, so there's, there's still a lot of shame. I find this in my groups. There's still a lot of shame for women to admit that they're thinking of going on a GLP-1 or that they're even on a GLP-1. Do you think that there are any negative consequences that we're not aware of? Would you feel comfortable, let me rephrase this, would you feel comfortable having your wife take a GLP-1 when you saw her struggling back during this menopause transition? Oh, well, that's, that's a really good way to ask that. Um, I... My general philosophy on medication, all medications, including GLP-1s, is I never want my first step to be, to be a, medi a medication-based solution. Yes. What can I do with my fitness? What can I do with my nutrition? What can I do with supplementation? Mm -hmm. So once all of those have failed, then I think, well, now we have to, 
I, I think I would be foolish to not put a GLP-1 on the table. So in my wife's situation, if she were to tell me, hey, I want to try a GLP-1, and if dieting's not working, um, if you know manipulating resistance training and cardio uh, program variables, if that's not working, I, 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 my, my response would be, well, let's let's start with a you know, the term that I'm constantly hearing is microdosing. So yes. let's start with a small dose and see how you respond. That that would be my that would be my response to that. 